Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is edogs82 and today I'm starting a new let's play. I'm starting a let's play on the game called Stellaris. So I don't know if you guys have heard about Stellaris yet, but it's a fairly recent game. It came out on the 9th of May. I've been playing a hell of a lot of it. I've played already over 40 hours of the game and I've played various different races and stuff and what you can do is you can build your own empire in space. So as you can see, I've created things like the Systems Alliance, the Flood, United Nations Space Command, the Swords of St. Helios, and the Covenant. So I really like to roleplay in this. So I'm going to create a new empire. And so what I can do is I can pick a race from any of these different types of aliens. And so I can pick from mammalian, reptilian, avian, arthropod, muscaloid, or fungoid. So who am I going to pick this time? I wonder. Um, Maybe I think I'll go reptilian this time. And I'm gonna pick these people because well in my own personal playthroughs I actually um found these people and I was able to um turn them into my well they were primitive and i was able to enlighten them and turn them into my allies i brought them in to my empire and they became citizens of my empire which was really cool so i think i should play as them this time let's see what they give me okay i have no idea how to pronounce that let's try again okay we will be the people of gox or the Goxy ship prefix. So this is the type of thing that you can do where you can uh, put sort of your own personal signature, I guess, on the the ship. And so before the name. So I'm going to put in ED on it because of my logo. Yep. So before each ship, there'll be ED. Now, let's find the reptilian ships. Okay, that one looks okay. We've got Battle Group. Star Hunters. Or the Void Skulkers. I think we'll go with Void Skulkers. That seems cool. Okay, so our people are going to be living on arid worlds is what I'm going to do for them. So I'm going to pick accordingly to their stuff. So let's see. Being on an arid world, they're not going to be very good farmers. So they'll likely be industrious. Oh, we got no trade points left. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to adapt well to foreign environments, so we're going to be non-adaptive. We're slow breeders. Hmm. We will be enduring, I think. Maybe. I think we'll be... Maybe... Yeah, I think we'll be thrifty. Okay. 
So that's our traits of the race. We're male, obviously. Not a female. What's our name going to be? Nope. 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 <laughs> That's a funny name, but no, not gonna have it. They really like Furlax and Okay, we'll pick this one. Ax me cat. That shall be our name. <laughs> Get to change the color variation on our lovely people. I think I'll be a black color. Let's mess around with the clothes. Make ourselves look all mighty. Hmm. Yes, we'll try this one. Next. So we got an o a continental world, ocean world, arctic, tundra, arid, desert, and tropical. Okay. Okay, what it says about arid worlds is they are dry, rocky worlds with nitrogen-oxygen mixture, uh, mixture of atmosphere. The dust-covered terrain consists largely of mesas and canyons. Forests can be found in the more temperate polar regions, but vegetation is otherwise scarce. So we are going to take that. Okay, we'll do that. Our home world will be the name Yadra. Yadra. And we will start in the star name of Yadrek. And we'll be in a random system. We are reptilians. So let's change it to make it look reptilian. Now for our government and ethics. What shall we have? We're definitely not pacifists. Xenophobic. Yeah, we might be. <laughs> Collectivist, maybe. Yeah, we're a bit of a collectivist group. Huh. We're militaristic by nature. And we covet resources, so we're materialistic, since we have so little. Okay. Military jaunter. Hold an election every 40 to 50 years to select a new ruler. We get a minus 10% bonus on our ship cost and a minus 25% bonus on our ship upgrade cost. That could be pretty useful. It says this government is a militaristic form of oligarchy where power rests with a council of high-ranking military officers who oversee all matters of state. Military dictatorship. We hold an election upon ruler death to select a new ruler. Each ruler can build an oversized ship. Our naval capacity is getting a bonus of 20%. And our ship upkeep is getting a minus bonus of 5%. So we don't have to spend as much on having ships. And we can get a much larger fleet, which is good. It says this government is, pardon me, a militaristic form of oleocracy with the ruler serving as the undisputed head of the military, which is firmly in control of the state apparatus. We could pick a science directive, <laughs> directive, no thank you, uh, despot, 
Hypnotic Hegemony? Hmm. No. Plutocratic Oligarchy. Despotic Empire. Uh, plutocratic oligarchy. I think we will be a military dictatorship, and our empire's name will be. The Gox Centralized Planets. Okay. That's not bad. So, what do we want? What is going to be the sigil of the Gox Empire? Maybe this. <laughs> Primary colors. Um, yeah, maybe. I like that. Let's go with this one. Our primary color will be yeah, red. Secondary color green. Nice. Hmm. What are we gonna be? Let's have missile weapons. And let's do hyperspace travel. We are using reptilian ships. Lovely. And we have finished creating the Gox centralized planets. Awesome. So let's make this a ring. And medium is okay. Yep, we don't want anybody to get an unfair advantage. We will have as many empires as we can, so 23. Any FTL travel? No, we're going to make everybody use hyperdrive like myself, which will be cool. So you can really choke point the areas. Here we go. In the eons since the first primitive Gox communities took shape in the dry canyons and mesas of Yadra, our civilization has spread and prospered. Countless nation states formed as we advanced through the technological ages, warring against each other until only one remained. Although the fighting was often brutal, those who survived nurtured a martial tradition that has prevailed to this day. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane network, the finest minds of the Gox centralized planets have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Begin. So, we're going to go into our research quickly. And we're going to immediately grab the physics lab because we've got a bonus to it here. Then we're going to go with a colony ship because we'll need to colonize as soon as possible. And then we'll do a defense platform so we can get those out of the way as quick as possible, get the biggest bonuses that we can. We want to take our science ship on an adventure so we'll get them to survey the system. And then we'll press play. So, this is the galaxy, and we control this area. So, I can already see that we have alien vessels right here, really close to us. What are they? Ah, uh, they're the crystalline entities. I see, I see. Well, that's an ocean world. We can't take that. But anyways, 
while we're here, we're going to take a look at Yadra. We're going to enact an edict or not, because we don't have enough <laughs> enough influence. So we have one defense army here, which is awesome. Let's give them a general. Yes, this man is the man for the job. Let's give him neo-concrete fortifications to make him stronger. Let's go to the surface. And we have a bunch of stuff to do. So let's go here and build up the hydroponic farm business. Let's clear out this tile so that we can get a bigger population quicker. This one will have a mining station on it soon, once the population builds up. It's taking a little bit of time because we're slow breeders. Now, our navy. What shall we do with you? We're looking pretty sweet here. Let's give you an admiral. Okay, we don't want to not be able to FTL. So, if we, well, I don't really FTL very much anyway, so we'll, we'll use it. It'll make our ships tougher. So we have our construction ship here, which isn't doing anything at the moment because there's not really much to do. But he can come over here and start a research station which is awesome. And we'll just speed up for a little bit, get things done quicker. So initially with this first stage of the game, we're just trying to survey our own particular system that we live in, find out what's going on, consolidate our resources, build up our economy, and eventually work at spreading out across the stars and into the rest of the galaxy. Anomaly found. So yeah, so our science ship has found an anomaly, but its failure risk is really, really high. So we're gonna leave it be for now and come back later. So the thing with anomalies is they can get you some really awesome technology sometimes. And that can really boost you up that head in just the arms race that you find. Okay, our scientists leveled up. Excellent. Our construction ship has done his job. Construction complete. Okay, our construction on Gadra is finished. And I do not think that there is much of any resources in this area. This is not good. So we're definitely going to need to extend our reach into the rest of um, the galaxy really fast because we cannot just simply rely on our home planet for resources it's just not possible okay so we've encountered some new aliens crap our survey of the system is over so yeah we got some aliens here alpha aliens they don't want to mess with us just yet so we'll go survey this system to avoid them. Sebelus Shroud, that's where we live. Okay, so my construction ship is doing jack all, so we're going to make him re-enter orbit of the town, uh, our homeworld, Yadra. Leave it, big time, that's a hard one, uh, because while your ships are docked, they tend to not have a maintenance applied to it. Okay, the head of the Gox Centralized Planets Physics Research Department has gone missing. Damn it! <laughs> Along with their privately funded highly experimental prototype science ship, the incident has the scientific community on Yadra in an uproar. That's not good. Not good. 
Okay, so we need to find ourselves a new scientist. The whereabouts of the head, now technically the former head of this physics research, has just yet to be ascertained. Certain details regarding the prototype science ship and the head private, head's private research have reached our ears. And while some... Hmm... And while some aspects seem too f fantastical to be true, it is clear that in the Gox centralized planet's interest to find and recover the chair as soon as possible. So that's what we need to do. We're going to recruit this guy because he has the expertise in computing. So he'll help us with that. So let's go to the situation log and we need to find our scientists. And we can research those aliens. So let's go into... Slow this down again. Let's go into the ship designer. So this is our Corvette. This is the type of ship that we use. We've got nuclear missiles. And they do decent amount of damage. We've got fusion reactors. Basic stuff. Our hyperdrive. Our combat computer. The chemical thrusters that we use and the ship mounted radar which is cool so we've also got pardon me the uh, construction ship which doesn't need a lot of stuff here as you can see we've got our science ship which apparently one of our dudes nicked off with <laughs> we can uh, mess around with this stuff a bit more so we can change to the shifter core the striker core or the interceptor core really doesn't matter too much, but right now we're using the interceptor core as a default. So our science ship has finished its uh, survey. Let's go over to Washkar and survey over there. So the way you see all these different lines across the different star systems is... um, Well, that'd be a great place to start. Uh, is a way to travel. It's called the hyperdrive lane. So essentially you can choke point certain areas of your galaxy by setting up um, stations and making it impossible to pass unless you beat down that enemy station. So these are the places we need to head to to find our scientist. So let's send in the fleet. You can use this go to button which is awesome and it can um, basically, it locks on to your ships and tracks them wherever they move. Takes you with them like you can see. Okay, so this seems to be nothing trying to murder us in this system. Let's move our construction ship over here. Dead end. The department head is not in this system. Either the lead was a dud, or the trail has gone cold. We'll keep looking. Okay. So, our scientist is not here. So, we'll look for them over here. While that's happening, we'll mess around with our awesome construction ship worker. And set him to the task of producing more minerals for us because we need the resources of minerals and energy credits. Okay, so we found out that those aliens are called Tiyunkai and we don't want to mess with them, okay? Unless we have no choice. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we, uh, we're going to look for the scientist over here, of course take on them if possible and if you guys are wondering how to do it uh, the key to queue up multiple orders is to hold down shift while you do that so we're gonna be that's what I did to create multiple order moves for my construction ship complete. awesome we got our defense platforms early on what do we want to do we'll do the improved spaceport because of his specialization and our science, 
our fleet is moving around looking for the science ships still. How are things on Yadra? Okay, we'll build a mineral, not mineral silo, we're going to build a mining network here because by the time we do, our population will be grown. Interesting, we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Sulan system. These objects appear have been flagged as the beta aliens until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Okay, let's see, where are they? I see what these guys are. We don't need to worry about them just yet. They're mining guys. They're not going to mess with us unless we mess with them. So let's continue looking for our scientist. The department head is not in this system. Either the leader was a dud or the trail has gone cold. Okay, so the department head has really uh, thrown us for a loop. I don't know where they are. Stop tracking. Track on map. I see where you are now, you little punks. So you're in Brigafa. No, leave it be. We'll come back to get the anomalies later. Right now, it's not in our best interest to try and force them because we could lose our scientists. We could die or we could just fail and not get that technology, which I really need. Yeah, I'm aware that there's a hostile fleet. Oh man, we're going to have to fight them anyways, damn it. Oh well, we should win. Okay, so our leader had our side shippers surveyed where we wanted to survey. We'll come back to him after this fight and send him on another mission. Oh man, I hope we win. It's getting dicey. And we've lost a ship. No! Uh oh, yeah, we're gonna lose. Damn it. Our navy is destroyed already. <laughs> what a great way to start. We're just minding our own business, looking for our missing scientist, and then these guys want to murder us. Great. Our leaders died, as well as our whole navy. Nothing could be better. <laughs> So we're going to get this guy to come and survey this system. How's our science, I mean construction guy going? Okay, he's about 50% done on that front. Let's go to the home planet. Our production of our, our population here is nearly done as well as the mining network, which is great. We're going to build a new fleet. Okay. Construction complete. So that was yep. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, we'll build a hydroponics farm here for you. Let's do nothing here because we don't have resources. We're really going to be hampered by not having enough resources in this early game stage. Okay, let's move over to the Wakas, uh, the wash car system. Let's enter the orbit of this planet so that we can build on it and get us four energy credits. 
construction complete. Okay, so we've got a new navy popping up. We need to recruit a new general because the old one got flipping murdered. Yep, we want to look for habitable worlds. Updated. Let's recruit this guy. So we now got the mission for habitable world survey. We need to find eight habitable worlds, which I want to do anyways because that will be most helpful. We're about to have a physics lab in about three months' time, which is good. Let's head back to our construction ship and see what they're doing. He needs just a little bit more minerals. See, the, the one of the most important things in this game is having minerals. You, you need minerals for just about everything. You need them for I mean, building ships, building stations, maintaining different things. It's just... Minerals is life in this game. It's everything. If you don't have enough minerals, you're screwed. And another bigger, uh, yeah, another bigger nation will come and destroy you. So our science ships officer leveled up. Like that's what I like to see. So we got Axe Me Cat here. We got nine populations across one world. Awesome. So we've got our physics lab now. What are you good at? Uh, you're good at computing, so we'll get administrative AI. Thank you. Okay. Our policies. We want to change our orbital bombardment to full so that when we invade enemy places we can blow the hell out of them. Uh, yep, that's okay. Information quarantine. No. Let's encourage free thought. Here's our budget. We're not going under budget just yet. We're not in the red. Leave that be for now. Construction complete. Okay, our science ship is done. Let's get him moving on to the next system. And let's head to the spaceport and build a new corvette. just having this one is really not enough. <laughs> we don't have the ability to fight off even mining drones as you guys saw. So we've got four energy credits being produced here now, which is great. Special project. However, I want to come over here to the mining station. Okay. Let's uh, rip them apart. Those mining drones are annoying. I don't like that they murdered my fleet earlier. Okay, we're still looking for that rogue scientist. Construction complete. Awesome. Things on Yadra are really starting to come together. So this symbol means basically that the building's not going to work until the population is fully grown, and that could take a little time. So I'm actually going to deactivate it so that it doesn't make me have to um, spend one energy credit each month to just have it not being worked on, which is annoying. <laughs> okay, let's speed up production just a little bit move time along a bit quickly. It's what we tend to have to do a lot in the early game.
I'm not the greatest at this game, but I enjoy playing it a lot. I've had a lot of fun so far, and... Uh, researcher, why not, because it's zero percent. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of time re a lot of time on it, a lot of fun on it so far, and I just, I just love to continue playing it. I hope you guys enjoy watching me play this. Okay, we can now build a new mining station. The Eurasian Concord. We've encountered artifacts from the ancient uh, alien civilization of Baxum V. From what we have translated so far of their language, we have learned that these aliens called themselves the Eurasian Concorda, called Cordat. They were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. They appear to have been six-limbed mammalians, and there are several references to some sort of plague called the Javorian Pox, which swept across their empire with devastating results, possibly leading to their extinction. Interesting. Log updated. So now we've been given a new quest line to figure out what happened to the Eurasians. Let's build a new corvette. And then we're going to finish up by finding out what happened to our scientists. System survey complete. Excellent. Construction complete. Okay, back to normal speed just for a minute. Go survey that system, please. Good job getting a level up. You, I need you to move over here. And now we're going to move our fleet to this system to see what has happened to the scientist. Hyper lane is winding up and we're about to jump. Three, two, one, go! Okay, we've entered a new system. There appears to be a very habitable world for us here. That is good. Good to know. A glimpse. The scientist ship is in this system, we think. We're unable to lock in their position on sensors, but they are hailing us, patching them through to Yagela. Open comms. Okay. Greetings and salutations, Grand Marshal. I take this is not a social call. How should we respond? We can assign ships to escort you home. What is the meaning of this? You will return to the capital at once. I think we'll assign ships to escort them home. I have no interest in returning home at present, but please, as a token of my goodwill, take these drones, a donation to the Gox centralized planets. I found them drifting on the outskirts of this system and, of our, and, our, ugh, and only after extensive repairs did I realize that they are utterly unfit to function as research probes. Okay, this conversation is over. The drones. The chair has vanished inexplicably yet again. Damn it. However, they did leave a number of drones behind as promised. The drones are armed and their weapons are powering up. Oh, you little... Sh <clears throat> You cheeky little prick. Okay. Okay. Damn you, scientists. Uh, if 
my fleet is moving in, and now they're going to fire their missiles. Hopefully we can pull this off. We outnumber them, and we have a missile to hit them with, which are basically 100% guaranteed to hit them. They cannot miss missiles, which is great. Whereas their laser mining drill lasers can miss. The only thing that can take out missiles basically is these uh, point defense lasers, but these guys don't have them. Okay, we've lost a ship, but so are they. I think we're going to pull this off. I don't trust that scientist. There's something wrong with him. He's a bit of a sneaky bugger. There we go. The drone's destroyed. The drone's IFF modules have been removed, likely a result of the head physicist's repairs, but their threat assessment processes remained intact and somewhat stressed by the head's invasive procedures. It is unlikely that the head meant for the drones to attack us, but the fact remains that they covered the scientists' escape nicely. Uh, situation. Okay, we can get our science drone to, or ship to come over here and research the debris. We're going to get our ships to return for repairs. So they're going to go. We'll get our construction ship to begin work on that. We'll take a look at the quest chain now. Uh. Okay, so that's all the time I have for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching my new Let's Play of the Gox Centralized Planets. I definitely enjoyed playing it so far and that crafty scientist. <laughs> but uh, when we come back, we'll definitely continue on and see what happens. But as per usual, my name is edogs 82 and I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.